Hello guys, here is Shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I was fully out of vegetables. No fresh vegetables were there except only potatoes. So I made this egg potato curry. It's so much delicious with especially boiled rice and roti chapati as well. So let's see the recipe. At first I boiled some eggs and now peeling them off washing them properly of course and here i have taken one and a half inch of ginger some dry coconut some uh, cloves of garlics and two onions and here boiled eggs and some chopped potatoes i washed the potatoes well i didn't have even tomatoes so i have taken some dry coconut you may take some tomatoes as well if you have and now in the pan, I am adding some cooking oil, very little quantity of cooking oil I am adding. And now, after it is hot, I am going to fry the potatoes first. You may uh, fry the eggs as well, but I am not going to fry them. I will fry the potatoes only. So now, I am adding the potatoes in the pan. And without any salt or turmeric, I am going to fry them until nice red color. The color is nicely red as you can see. So now I am going to take them out. And after that in the same pan and in the same oil, I am going to fry the spices as well. I am adding all the spices in the oil. After frying for about 2 minutes, I am going to add some more spices. The color of the onions is nicely transparent now, not brown. Now I am making a space inside the spices and now I am adding a handful of coriander and about 1 teaspoon of jeera that means cumin seeds. It seems very dry so I am adding a little quantity of oil again. Mixing well in the uh, inside of the spices and after that I am mixing everything well. And now I am going to fry all the things until a nice brown color. All the spices should be fried well, nothing should be raw at all. And at the end of this process, I am adding some roasted uh, peanuts. It is fully optional, but I am adding them for uh, thickening the gravy. Now I am turning the heat off and after that, we need to cool it down and make a smooth paste of them. And now in the same pan, I am adding some cooking oil. The heat should be on the lowest. And quickly in this oil, we need to add some turmeric powder and some red chilli powder. The oil is not so hot and heat is on low. The spices should not be burnt at all. After mixing well, we are going to add the spices paste that we made previously. So, here is the spices paste. I am adding it. In this recipe, no typical process is needed. After adding the spices mixture, I am going to add some water washing the mixer jar to avoid wastage. Mixing well. And now we need to add some salt for taste. Only some salt and some garam masala. Nothing too much. So, salt according to taste. And 1 teaspoon full of garam masala. It's half of toys. After mixing well, we are going to add the potatoes and the eggs. We don't need to cook the spices again because we fried them very well. They are not raw at all. After adding the potatoes and eggs, I am adding some uh, water for gravy. Add the water quantity according to your, uh, your wish, as thick or as thin you want your gravy to be. After mixing well, I am going to cover the pan. In between, we need to uncover the pan and check the uh, potatoes if it's cooked well or not. After about 10 to 12 minutes, the potatoes are cooked very well. I'm showing you while checking. They are cooked very well and now we need to adjust the gravy consistency. Now, I'm adding about half teaspoon of sugar to balance the taste. And now, I'll thicken the gravy a little. You may keep the gravy consistency according to your wish, there is no problem, it's fully your choice. I am going to make it a little thicker than this. So I am cooking the curry without a lid and uh, now the gravy consistency is fully perfect for me. I didn't have even uh, fresh coriander leaves so I am skipping it also. If you have, you may add some 
and now I'm serving the curry. The process is so much easy but it's so much delicious with especially boiled rice and you may enjoy it with roti and chapati as well. It's so much delicious so don't forget to try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to share your experience with me. Hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.